from Super League to Olympic distance to age group world records to Kona. Go longer with the right fuel at the right time with S Fuels. This is a phenomenal bike ride, and I can tell you he's so casual. This is his first time he's ever biked the full 112 miles here in Hawaii. He's never been up to the turn in Harvey. He's certainly been up there today. Doesn't he look like Thank you, Poncho Man. Welcome to our 11th year of Breakfast with Bob from beautiful Huggles on the Rocks. My name is Bob Babbitt. We're brought to you by Master Spas, as fuels go longer, Hoka Let's Fly, Form Smart Swim Goggles, Quintana Roo Zoot, the original triathlon brand, and of course, our Challenged Athletes Foundation, our next guest, Seriously, one of the best runners in our sport from France, Dennis Chevreau. How you doing, bud? Hi, Bob. Thank you for having me. I'm doing well. Okay, so Chevreau translates to baby goat? That's right. Did you catch a lot of abuse as a kid, people making goat <laughs> sounds, bah, that type of stuff? Not too much because um, I was a good fighter, so... So you give me racetrack around my eye exactly. if I say that. Okay. Yes. Not a, not a problem. <laughs> so Ironman Germany, huge win. 48-18, 430, 252. Were you happy with that? Yes, of course. And uh, I wasn't in a good mood before the race because uh, I had a DNF in St. George. So now what happened there? Um, I think I had too much training before the race. A and little, uh, little stale. The, yes. And uh, on the D-Day, I was cooked. That's it. And I DNF after 80K on the bike. Okay. And so, but then the fitness from that helped you in Germany. Yes, that's it. And I didn't too much, I, I didn't do too much training before Germany, but I had the training for the World Championship of St. George. So when I look at, you didn't get into the sport until you were like well, 23 years old, right? Uh, you are nice with me. I'm 24. You're 24 now? Yes, now. So when did you get into the sport? Ah, uh, when I was 23, sorry, yes. You got into the sport in 23? Yes. And um, I was a, a swimmer when I, I was young. Okay. Um, I wasn't good, but uh, I, was an, I, I had a good level of endurance, so I was an open uh, swimmer, open water swimmer. You were open water, were yes. you thinking the Olympics then? No, okay. no, 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 I was too bad for that. <laughs> <laughs> when did you, what was your first try? Did you start with a long distance? Did you start shorter? Like a lot of people, I just want to race an Ironman, so... That was it? Yes, I registered for one, Ironman Regensburg in Germany. 2014? No, wait, 2011. 11, okay, yeah. Yes, and uh, I start uh, cycling and running eight months before this event, and I uh, finished 23rd, so... And now you were just an age grouper at that point? Yes, yes. So 23rd overall? Yes. So you're like, I'm pretty good at this? Yes. And, and the year after, in 2012, I want uh, to, I want to win Ironman Frankfurt. Yes. And Ironman Hawaii as an edge grouper because I was I was 24, but I was injured, so I couldn't qualify for this race. And uh, I turned professional at the end of the year okay. for my second years of racing. I raced Ironman Florida, and I finished fifth. As, so a, as a pro yes as a pro so now you're going hmm maybe i'm good as a, you know what's fascinating to me when i look at like 2021 you ran a 235 uh to win austria right yes then at uh ironman tulsa you ran 236 yeah you know, those are those are impressive runs but you didn't have a running background right no no, no running background no no swim background yes that's that's it but uh i wasn't made for swimming i think i was made for running but and you didn't know yes i didn't know and after 10 years of practicing i'm better and better you're, you get better and better yes. at running yes. with no running background exactly which means you're sort of fresh to it because a lot of people who start running really young get injured and they're gone so you really didn't start running till you were how old 23 yes that's it 23 years old and you're how old now 34 34. So you've I'm only still been running 11 years. You're a baby. Yes, exactly. I'm You're a baby, baby goat. <laughs> <laughs> so have you, is this your, how many times you've been here? In Hawaii, this is my fifth time. Okay. And what have you gained over the years from, from racing here? What have you learned that's going to help you this year? Um, I think 
I didn't learn anything because I always race bad. <laughs> no, you always race bad here. Yes, I'm kidding. Uh, I have more and more experience. I know the, the race course better and better. And uh, in my previous attempt here, I came just three days before the race. I stay in Tucson, Arizona. And uh, this time I choose to come early. I'm here since one week. That's important. Yes, for humidity. Not for the heat, for humidity. No, no. Yeah, it's yes. so different. Yes, you, that's you not the same heat. No, there's, it's different heat. So in 2018, you were 26th here, right? Yes, I, wa I was first on the bike. Yes, I and I was 47, 41 and swim. Yeah. And I was last one on the bike, too. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. I had a really bad bike oh. four years ago. Oh, 437 and then 259. Those aren't, those aren't the type of times that you should be doing, right? You should yes. be more like... 415 to 420 and 230 something. I wish. Here, <laughs> right? Uh, I wish I could uh, ride faster, but I, will, I, I, uh, I trained too much before the race, like, uh, like in St. George. Yes. Like uh, lots of time, so I changed my coach. <laughs> so what are the goals this year, and what have you done differently? Now that you're, like you've, you're working with a new coach, how has he changed things for you? Uh, I still do a lot of uh, training, but more, more before the race. Okay. And uh, the week before the race, it's just between 25 and 30 hours. So for me, it's not so much. Right. Uh, my goal this year is to race at my level. That's it. Okay. No, no ranking, no, no time, just my level. So just, just race how you feel. Exactly. Uh, but you got to come uh, winning Ironman Germany, which is a legendary event. You got to come away from that going, okay, um, especially 238 there is a hell of a yes. marathon. And I had one minute penalty during the run. <laughs> you had a penalty as well. <laughs> yes. And you still won 752. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I had one minute penalty during the run. Oh, so you were, would have been more like 236. Yes, two, 237. But uh, it doesn't have an impact for this race. Okay. That's two different races, not the same Weather. It can be hot in Frankfurt, but not like this. Yes, this year is, it was just 29 degrees Celsius. Okay, it wasn't not so much. wasn't bad at all. Yes. So will you finish your season here, or do you go to 70.3 Worlds as well? Uh, I'm qualified for 70.3 Worlds, but I don't know. Uh, See how you feel. Yes, because this is a tough race here, and uh, you, you don't know how you will be after the race. So I, I don't plan anything after the race. Just right. focus on the D-Day, and we will see. So you're a civil engineer. So you've, yes. got, you've got a real job. Yes. Or a real occupation. Yeah. But when did you make the decision, okay, I'm, I've got a real job, but I'm going to go try this triathlon thing? Um, after my first race as a professional okay. in Florida 2012, I finished my study after this race, but uh, I didn't work as a civil engineer. I, I turned professional just after my studies, just to to have a try and right. 10 years after I'm still uh, in the game. So I did the, the good choice. You made the right choice, absolutely. Yes. And it, in terms of the, when you've done Kona in the past, and you, you certainly haven't raced up to your ability, and you know that, uh, what, what would it mean to you to have, and again, it's not so much winning, it's having that race where those split times reflect your talent. What would it mean to you to have that race that's, okay, even if you finish 5th or 10th, but I'm off the bike, I'm running high 230s, I'm riding the way I should be riding, and I'm one of the first guys out of the water. What would that mean to you? I, I would be happy <laughs> to, to race at my level. I'm sorry, I didn't understand. Well, so basically, if you have the race that you want to race and you don't win, that's yes. still okay. Yes, that's still okay. Yes, of course. I, I would be happy. If if I did if I do my day, I will be okay, and I will try to do better next time. Exactly, and then, so is the goal for next year to get back here again. Yes, this is Hawaii. This is the Ironman Hawaii, the best race when you are long distance triathletes. Got to be here. Yes, you have to be here. Yes. And how is the sport in terms of uh, in terms of France? How is the sport is the sport growing in France? Uh, yes, there are more and more. People, we are uh, racing uh, Ironman and triathlon. But yes. uh, when I start, uh, when I finish my study, and I uh, told to people uh, I would try to be professional triathlete. People 
said, but what's your real job? <laughs> what's your what? What's your true job? What's, what's your, your real job? Yes. You, this can't be a job. Yes. You're just riding your but bike. Th now that's better about that, but 10 years ago it wasn't. People had no idea. Yes. I love it. This is not, uh, France is not a country of triathlon. No. No, not like here or in Australia or Germany. That's not I the same. Is there more of a focus there on the sh Olympic distance, Olympic format, in terms of more media for that? Yes, of course. And uh, this is not a true country. I can say that, but uh, you have to go at school to, to have a job and uh, right. a real job. <laughs> have a real career. Yes. So people don't look at this as a real yes, career. Yes, you are not. This is a hobby. Yes, that's it. I love it. But uh, I love my hobby. <laughs> Dennis, thanks so much for taking time. It's great to finally get to chat Thank with you. you. Thank you. Dennis Chevro has been our guest, everybody. Pancho Man, take us out. Do the swim back and round. In the corner sun. Put on a coffee, let's go. Because it's barefoot with bar. <laughs> go, baby goat. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>